Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Conklin and I'm part of the foot and ankle service line at Panorama Orthopedics and Spine. Thank you for allowing us the privilege to care for you or your loved one. As specialists in foot and ankle, we collaborate to provide exceptional care to our patients, helping you feel better so that you can do more. Today, my partners and I are going to walk you through ankle replacement surgery. The ankle joint is made up of the tibia and talus and the arthritic parts of the joint will be replaced by an artificial metallic joint. An ankle replacement is performed by replacing the arthritic joint with an artificial joint to mimic the motion of the natural joint. The goal of this procedure is to help alleviate pain and increase mobility. While most patients are candidates for ankle replacement surgery, Individuals who are smokers, experiencing neuropathy, have a prior history of ankle infection, or are diabetic, may be considered high risk and will need to be individually assessed by their provider to determine their suitability for safely undergoing an ankle replacement. Once a patient is deemed to be an appropriate candidate for ankle replacement, a preoperative plan is customized to the individual to optimize their outcome. During the procedure, the first step is to make an incision down the front of the ankle. Once the arthritic joint is visible, your surgeon will then begin the process of removing all of the relevant bone spurs and scar tissue within the joint. Guide blocks are placed on the bone and positioned based on x-rays to ensure appropriate positioning of the joint replacement. Once the alignment is deemed to be accurate with fluoroscopy, your surgeon will remove the arthritic parts of the joint. There is no one-size-fits-all approach to implants, and sizing guides are used to customize the appropriately sized implant for each patient. Ankle replacements differ from standard knee, hip, and shoulder replacements because of the complicated nature of the ankle mechanics. More commonly, they require additional procedures to be performed to address surrounding soft tissue and bony abnormalities that would otherwise compromise the function of the ankle replacement. These may include Achilles procedures, ligament repairs, or corrections in your alignment. Your surgeon will discuss your specific needs based upon your preoperative assessment. When preparing for ankle replacement surgery, make sure you discuss any questions or concerns that you have in advance with your care team. You'll also need to be evaluated by your primary care physician prior to surgery to make sure that you have medical clearance, really to make sure that there are no unforeseen medical issues that could potentially impact your recovery. You will talk to your care team a few weeks before your surgery, and it's important to feel comfortable with all the information you potentially need and to make sure all your questions are answered. Each patient is individually assessed for their suitability and specific needs for an ankle replacement. Some patients may require a CAT scan of the ankle for preoperative planning. Although major risks with an ankle replacement are rare, they can include stiffness, some mild swelling, occasionally delayed incision healing, or even unlikely the need for additional surgery. The day of your procedure, you'll arrive at the surgical facility a few hours in advance of your scheduled surgical time. The preoperative team will help prepare you for your surgery. This includes a certified anesthesiologist who is in charge of your nerve block. The nerve block allows us to use less anesthesia, which then allows for a faster recovery and less pain in the initial post-operative recovery period. Depending on the complexity or severity of your arthritic ankle, surgery can take anywhere from two to three hours. Just remember the length of the surgery doesn't mean it's longer or harder, we just have to do the right job for you in surgery. So it'll take about two to three hours. You can expect to be in the recovery room for at least one hour after surgery, and your nerve block will generally last between 12 and 18 hours. Sometimes it's longer if you have a catheter, and sometimes it's shorter. But the purpose is to help with your post-operative pain. Most patients are anticipated to be discharged home the same day of surgery, but others need to be monitored or may need monitoring overnight depending on their mobility or their medical history. So if you're overnight, it's not a bad thing, it's a safety issue, and if you get to go home, that's also good. There's not a wrong here. Pain management will include a combination of anti-inflammatories, blood thinners, nerve medication, and narcotic pain medication. Due to the slight risk of developing a blood clot, which anyone can develop, we help that or lessen that risk when we place you on a blood thinner like aspirin or other medications for the first few weeks to keep you safe. This is for your safety. Within two weeks, most patients will be off their narcotics and transitioning to a boot. 
and starting physical therapy. Patients will need to be non-weight bearing for the first four to six weeks in order to allow the implant and bone to heal effectively. After that time, patients can start weight bearing and after six weeks, they begin the transition from boot to a shoe. While patients can return to most normal day-to-day -day activities within three months, they can expect a full recovery within six to 12 months of surgery. In order to preserve your ankle joint, patients should avoid impact activities such as running, jumping, or any activities that require kicking, such as martial arts. We hope this video helped you feel better informed for your upcoming ankle replacement surgery. Should you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to any member of your care team.